Low Tech Trainers, researcher team here from the Devon Corporation. Now, the Science and Robotics Festival is continuing today. Today is the second day of the Science and Robotics Festival. So, I just received this report here from Mr. Stephen. I'm not going to read this entire thing out to you. So, in summary, this report uh, it is basically saying that I haven't really caught enough uh, Beldum the last time, so I better be catching a bit more Beldum this time. Also, there is this special perk for the second day of the 10th Annual Science and Robotics Festival. I'll be earning double candy for every Beldum that I catch, so normally I get three candies per Beldum, but just for today, I can earn six candies per Beldum. It's pretty amazing. So, yeah, I better go out there, catch some Beldum. Hopefully, I can round up even more shiny, galvanized Beldum. So, yeah, I guess I should, like, start heading off pretty soon. Okay, so I'm here at the lab right now. This is where... Uh, Different corporation is based. This is one of the branches right now. And uh, looking at the opening ghost here, uh, there's really not much going on in terms of uh, poke stops and chimneys. There's a lot of poke stops around that area. Obviously, this is a uh, research area, so yeah, I don't expect very many poke stops, but. Uh, I'm gonna meet Mr. Steven right here so we can uh, hunt together for those galvanized golden. So, I think I may have to relocate. Uh, it's only uh, five minutes away from the Science and Robotics Festival. So, as soon as Mr. Steven makes his appearance. All right, as you can see, the buildings are just about ready to be parked and distributed here. This one is not a silver building. Bummer. But anyway, I'm going to be uh, moving to where all these 3D printers are that are going to be distributed by the Devon Corporation behind me. So, Okay, I just unlocked the uh, Catch 3 Beldum quest. Oh, completed. Wrong choice of words there. Okay, just gonna claim that reward. Two pineapps. Today is a good day. Okay, so it has been about 15 minutes here and I am aptly in front of this very beautiful stone sculpture so we have decided to move out of here to the spot where there are lots of 3d printers right there so let us move there all right so this is it my first ever galvanized bottom of the day in case you can't see my screen, I'll uh, put it up uh, right here. So, yeah, just gonna silver pine out this thing. Definitely want those candies to strengthen those beldum, especially the galvanized ones. And I need to find somewhere to put this camera down. All right. Oh, nice. Nice. I don't know if the uh, camera is picking this up, but it's raining. Ah, damn. Okay. I don't know how I ended up here in uh, some random alleyway, but it is uh, pretty lit here. As you can see, lots of 3D printers right up ahead to uh, get some golden. Holy shanks, guys! I just got another galvanized golden. 
which I shall pine at right now. It's only 58 CP, so it's pretty low level. I don't have to worry about it uh, running from me easily, which it doesn't. Also, every uh, building that I'm catching is helping Professor Willow as well with his spoopy message research. Holy shanks, I just got another shiny beldum galvanized and 10 CP, which I am gonna catch right now. Yep, caught. Okay. Uh, just praising it for fun. You know what? Since it's just 10 CP, actually, you know what? Shinies are shinies. I won't transfer you, even though you are literally 10 CP right now. I'm just sitting by this very wonderful 3D printer, actually, in between two 3D printers, which are like giving me not very many Beldum. Probably being uh, shadowed over by all of these weather boosted spawns. Oh, event has been pretty great so far, actually. Let, let's take a look at my uh, galvanized collection. I've got like three from today and one from uh, last week during the first day of the Science and Robotics Festival. Unfortunately, though, not a lot of these build them are passing quality control. Most of them have uh, pretty crap. IVs actually. <sighs> so just waiting on another really good build -um to show up. Oh, ah, speak of the devil, this is a very good build -um. Okay, so we're at uh, half time right now and I am stuck in this shopping mall here, surprisingly full of 3D printers and I'm not sure if the camera is picking this up right now but it is raining so I might have to like run all the way back to uh, some shelter or maybe stay here in this shopping mall there's not much food here that I like so I might have to go back to the starting point where the there's a greater variety of food there, so yeah. So far, I've caught a f quite a few shinies actually. Shiny galvanized beldum. Well, five. One, two, three, four, and five from yesterday. Uh, well, not yesterday, the uh, previous day of the 10th Animal Science and Robotics Festival. So, yeah, I mean, I am satisfied with my catch so far. I mean, I still need some good IV Beldums to evolve up into Metagross. And speaking of Metagross, Met Metagross uh, today, as well as, uh, well, basically for the entire Science and Robotics Festival, uh, Metagross can learn Meteor Mash. So, Meteor Mash, obviously the a very powerful move, in, move indeed. Uh, uh, I don't know what the exact DPS works out to, but it, it, I'll put it up on the screen right now if uh, if I have it. It's better than uh, Metacross's other double steel type move uh, move set, which is uh, Flash Cannon. So yeah. Okay, so it is actually raining in game right now, but. Uh, I mean, it, it, it is about to rain here, if you can uh, see it right now. Uh, slightly cloudy back there, but sheesh, uh, I think I better take some shelter here. I bought some food down there. And uh, I mean, Allure and two gems. Well, that's pretty good actually. 3D printer already set up here. So, oh, it just 3D printed for me a Beldum, which is not galvanized, and I have no Pokeballs to catch it. Great.
Okay, so the Science and Robotics Festival has just ended here, and I've managed to get myself five lucky galvanized bottoms here, all nice and silvery in color. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Also, I've managed to get nine Meteor Mash Matagros. There, as you can see, Meteor Mash. Yeah, pretty good moveset wise. So yeah, I, I mean it probably be over by the time you're watching this right now. But Tier Mash Metagross definitely has a place in the meta, especially once uh, fairy types come around in uh, later gens, especially Generation Six when fairy types like Xerneas, Florges are more prominent. Yes, the Meteor Mash Metagross will definitely see some usage in that aspect. But uh, not only are steel types good for uh, fairy types, they're also good for ice types, rock types, and I uh, can't really remember off the top of my head right now. But anyway, uh, Mr. Steven says it has been a pretty successful day. Yeah, pretty successful day in my books as well. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to wrap up this video right here. Again, <laughs> just like last video in the void deck of some random... Uh, flat. So yeah, this has been Researcher Tegan here, signing off right now, Mr. Stevens, uh, with me. Oh, he's not. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to end this clip right here. So until next time, I will see you in the next video.